Typewriters, invented in 1868 by Christopher Latham Scholes, Carlos Glidden, and Samuel W. Sowell, typewriters revolutionized writing by enabling users to produce printed documents more efficiently than handwriting. Typewriters consist of a keyboard for input and a mechanism that impresses characters onto paper. They became essential tools for offices, businesses, and writers, greatly speeding up the process of document creation. Over time, typewriters evolved with various improvements, including electric typewriters and eventually computer keyboards, which rendered them largely obsolete by the end of the 20th century. Portable radios. The first portable radio was introduced in the early 20th century, around the 1920s, allowing people to listen to broadcasts while on the move. Portable radios typically consist of a receiver and speakers housed in a compact enclosure, along with controls for tuning and volume. They played a significant role in bringing news, entertainment, and music to a wide audience, enabling people to stay connected to the world beyond their homes. Portable radios underwent various technological advancements, including the transition from vacuum tubes to transistors, which made them smaller, more energy efficient and affordable. Slide projectors. Slide projectors were invented in the late 1940s, offering a way to display photographic slides for presentations or entertainment purposes. Slide projectors consist of a light source, a mechanism for advancing slides and a lean system for projecting images onto a screen or surface. They were widely used in educational settings, business presentations, and home entertainment, providing a visual medium for sharing information and memories captured on photographic slides. With the advent of digital photography and presentation technologies, slide projectors have largely been replaced by digital projectors and presentation software. VHS players, the video home system, VHS was introduced by JVC in the 1970s. Along with VHS players, providing a means to watch pre-recorded videotapes at home. VHS players utilize magnetic tape technology to record and play back analog video and audio signals. They became the dominant home video format during the 1980s and 1990s, offering consumers a convenient way to watch movies and record television programs. Despite the emergence of digital video formats, VHS players remained popular until the early 2000s when DVDs and digital streaming services began to replace them. CDs and DVDs, compact discs, CDs, were invented in the late 1970s by Philips and Sony, while digital versatile discs, DVDs, were developed in the late 1990s. Both formats revolutionized audio and video storage and playback, CDs utilize optical technology to store digital audio data, while DVDs expanded on this concept to include video and other multimedia content. These formats offered superior audio and video quality compared to analog alternatives like cassette tapes and VHS tapes, along with greater durability and convenience. CDs and DVDs became the standard mediums for distributing music, movies, software, and other digital content until the rise of digital downloads and streaming services. MP3 Players The first portable MP3 player, the MP Man F10, was released in 1998, allowing users to carry digital music files with them and listen to them on the go. MP3 players utilize digital audio compression technology to store and playback MP3 files, offering a compact and convenient alternative to physical media like CDs and cassette tapes. MP3 players typically feature storage memory, a digital display, playback controls, and audio output jacks for headphones or speakers. They became immensely popular during the early 2000s, with iconic devices like the iPod driving widespread adoption. However, the rise of smartphones with built-in music playback capabilities eventually led to the decline of standalone MP3 players. Portable MP4 players, MP4 players, capable of playing both audio and video files in the MP4 format, became popular in the early 2000s, following the rise of digital media. Portable MP4 players offer similar functionality to MP3 players but with support for video playback as well. They typically feature larger displays, higher storage capacities, 
and support for additional multimedia formats beyond MP3 and MP4. While MP4 players enjoyed some success, particularly in markets where smartphones were not widely available, they ultimately faced stiff competition from smartphones with more advanced multimedia capabilities. GPS Units Global Positioning System GPS technology became available for civilian use in the 1980s and was integrated into portable navigation devices in the late 1990s, providing users with accurate location information and navigation assistance. GPS units utilize signals from a network of satellites to determine the user's precise geographic coordinates, enabling features like turn-by-turn -turn navigation, route planning, and location-based services. Portable GPS units typically consist of a receiver, display screen, and user interface for inputting destinations and accessing navigation functions. They revolutionized navigation and wayfinding, making it easier for individuals to navigate unfamiliar areas and reach their destinations efficiently. Personal Digital Assistant, PDA. The first PDAs, such as the Apple Newton and the Palm Pilot, emerged in the early 1990s, offering features like calendar, contacts, and note-taking capabilities in a handheld device. PDAs were designed to replace traditional paper-based organizers and provide users with a portable digital solution for managing their schedules, contacts, and tasks. They typically featured touchscreen displays, stylus input, and synchronization with personal computers for data management. PDAs paved the way for modern smartphones by introducing concepts like touch-based interfaces, mobile apps, and wireless connectivity. Leapfrogs. Leapfrog, the company known for educational toys and devices, introduced its first leap pad learning system in the late 1990s, providing interactive educational content for children. Leapfrog devices combine hardware and software to create engaging educational experiences that promote learning through play. The leap pad, in particular, features a tablet-like device with a touchscreen display, interactive stylus, and a library of educational games, ebooks, and activities. Leapfrog devices are designed to help children develop essential skills like reading, math, and critical thinking in a fun and interactive way. Game Boys and DSs The original Game Boy handheld gaming console was released by Nintendo in 1989, followed by the Nintendo DS in 2004, offering portable gaming experiences to a wide audience. Game Boy and DS systems feature handheld designs with built-in screens, controls, and game cartridges or cartridges for playing a variety of video games. These devices became iconic symbols of portable gaming, providing entertainment on the go without the need for a television or console. Game Boy and DS systems have evolved over the years with advancements in technology, including color displays, wireless connectivity, and touch-based interfaces, maintaining their popularity among gamers of all ages. Telephone Operators Telephone operators have been around since the invention of the telephone by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. They were responsible for connecting calls manually before automated systems were developed. Telephone operators worked in central exchange offices, where they used switchboards to route calls between different telephone lines. They played a crucial role in facilitating communication before the widespread adoption of automated telephone switching systems, which gradually replaced manual operators with electronic switching equipment. While telephone operators are no longer as prevalent as they once were, they remain an essential part of telecommunications infrastructure in some regions and industries. Telephone booths. Telephone booths, or phone booths, became widespread in the early to mid 20th century providing a private space for making phone calls in public places. Telephone booths typically consist of enclosed booths or kiosks equipped with a payphone or coin-operated telephone, along with a door or curtain for privacy. They were commonly found in urban areas, transportation hubs, and other high-traffic locations, offering a convenient means of communication for people on the go. However, the widespread availability of mobile phones and advancements in wireless communication technology led to a decline in the use of telephone booths, with many being removed or repurposed for other uses. Pagers. Pagers, also known as beepers, were introduced in the 1950s. 
and became popular in the 1980s and 1990s as a means of sending short text messages or notifications to individuals. Pagers consist of small, portable devices that receive and display numeric or alphanumeric messages sent by a paging service. They were widely used by professionals in industries like healthcare, public safety, and telecommunications, where instant communication was essential. Pagers provided a reliable and efficient way to receive messages while on the move, although their functionality was limited compared to modern mobile phones and smartphones. With the advent of mobile phones and text messaging, pagers have become largely obsolete in many parts of the world. Flip phones. Flip phones, characterized by their clamshell design, gained popularity in the late 1990s and early 2000s as a compact and stylish alternative to traditional mobile phones. Flip phones feature a hinged design that allows the device to be opened and closed with the screen and keypad protected when not in use. They typically include basic calling and texting capabilities, along with features like address books, calendars, and simple games. Flip phones were popular for their sleek design, durability, and ease of use, appealing to a wide range of consumers. However, they have largely been replaced by smartphones with touchscreen displays and advanced features. Phone books. Phone books, containing listings of telephone numbers and addresses, have been in use since the late 19th century, becoming ubiquitous in households and businesses before the advent of digital directories. Phone books were typically distributed annually by telephone companies or other organizations, providing users with a comprehensive directory of local and sometimes national telephone numbers. They were organized alphabetically by name or by category, making it easy to look up contact information for individuals and businesses. Phone books played a vital role in facilitating communication and connecting people before the widespread adoption of online and mobile phone directories. Pocket watches. Pocket watches have been in use since the 16th century, with significant developments in their design and functionality occurring throughout the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. Pocket watches consist of a mechanical movement housed in a case, typically attached to a chain or fob for carrying in a pocket or attached to clothing. They were widely used as timekeeping devices before the advent of wristwatches, providing a convenient way for individuals to tell time while on the go. Pocket watches were often prized possessions, with elaborate designs and craftsmanship reflecting the status and taste of their owners. While pocket watches have largely been replaced by wristwatches and digital timekeeping devices, they remain popular among collectors and enthusiasts for their historical significance and aesthetic appeal. If you enjoyed learning about these fascinating inventions and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps us create more engaging and informative content for you. Thanks for watching.